Many schools and organizations have been diligently preparing meals and snacks for students around Pike and Floyd counties due to the temporary shutdown of schools caused by COVID-19. I spoke with a few representatives from these schools on their process of providing these meals and how they are staying within safety guidelines provided by the CDC. And that's the big thing right now is we're just kind of going day by day. Um, today we are offering breakfast and lunch and breakfast is between 8 and 9 and lunch is between 11 and 12. We're, we know that we're definitely going to be doing that tomorrow and then we're going to kind of sit back, reassess what we're doing and try to figure out what would be better. All of our kids, which is kindergarten through 12, can come here and anyone can come here who's under 18 and eat lunch or breakfast. We will hand it to them and let them take it with them. Um, we cannot give lunch or breakfast to someone who says, hey, I have a big brother at home or something like that, but we can, any child that comes here, we can provide them with a breakfast and a lunch. And so what I'm trying to do is stay at the door, go back and get the children their breakfast or their lunches and take them to them. And then they can just kind of, it's almost like a drive through um, They can kind of pull up, get what they need, and then they can go back home. And that's what's so heartbreaking about the whole thing is that we've got to step up, do the very, very best we can. Um, if this doesn't work, then we got to sit back and punt, figure out what can work and do we need to get on the buses and go out in the community um, will we even be allowed to come in and prepare? We have no idea, kind of the unknown right now. Um, but I know one thing about this school district, and that is that we will do whatever it takes to try to feed our kids and do what's best for our kids. Although these are unchartered territories for us, uh, we are still providing um, online learning. And for those students that don't have internet uh, service, we are providing paper packets for NTI days for those students. Um, we also have students that depend on our meals and um, snacks throughout the day. So those students can still receive those snacks via school buses. Um, and today those school buses will leave here at 3 and school buses will have the snacks and the paper copies. And students just need to be at their bus stop drop off location. And for students that need the meals and want our meals, um, those are still being prepared by our cafeteria workers and those will be available through a drive-through service and so um, parents can call in the front office and let us know what time they'll be here between the hours of 11 and 1 and we can have those meals ready for those students. And so I really appreciate what our um, governor is doing and how he is being very proactive in this and um, our district and superintendents right on the ball with making sure that we are being cautious. Teachers and our staff will be calling home on a daily basis for our students. We're going to rotate through a list of our kids to make sure that um, they're well mentally and emotionally and then also making sure that their needs are being met um, and so that if there are gaps we can help fill those gaps. Uh, we're just here today we're just going to feed them some lunch. Uh, we got burgers, oranges, juice, uh, chips. Um, we're just going to feed the kids till, till we run out of food. Uh, it's just real important, you know, that we take care of the, these younger kids that, that can't get out here and, and fend for themselves, that, that, you know, maybe they don't eat at home or, or can't get anything at home, so we're going to take care of them as long as we can. We plan on moving around some and trying to uh, go to different communities and, and maybe try to help them out as well. Uh, we're based out of Prestonsburg, and this is our hometown, and we, you know, we want to start here. And, but we're going to go other places, you know, and, and feed them as long as we can. So. Grace Fellowship Community Kitchen also provided over 320 meals and free haircuts were provided by Matt from Goodfellas. They do plan to continue their helpful efforts, but meals will only be brought to the door with no entrance allowed.